Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have a digital ID, then Acrobat lets you encrypt PDF documents using certificates. Certificate encryption works differently than password encryption. Certificate encryption is often used to verify the identity of the creator or sender of a PDF document. When you add password protection to a PDF document, any user with access to the password can access the file. When you add certificate encryption to a document, you create a specific list of people who will have access to the document by using a certificate. Certificate encryption is generally regarded as being much more secure than password encryption. This security method is most often used when the information being shared is very sensitive. Note that to share a PDF using certificate encryption, you must have access to the recipient's certificates they will use to unencrypt the document. To add certificate encryption to a document, open a PDF in Acrobat and then select the Protect tool from the Tool Center. The Protect toolbar then appears. Next, click the Encrypt drop-down button and then select the Encrypt with Certificate command from the drop-down menu that appears. The Applying New Security Settings message box appears and asks you to confirm you want to add security to the PDF. Click the Yes button to continue and open the Certificate Security Settings dialog box. The General Settings screen is displayed first within this dialog box. Acrobat fills in the top half of the screen for you, but you select which components of the document to encrypt by making a choice from the Option button shown in the Select Document Components to Encrypt section. Next, select the encryption algorithm to apply to the document. Keep in mind that the more complex the algorithm, the less backwards compatibility the file will have. The compatibility of each algorithm appears for each choice within the drop-down menu. After making your selections, click the Next button in the lower right corner to continue. The Document Security Digital ID Selection dialog box then launches. You must have at least one digital ID created in order to continue. If needed, you can click the Add Digital ID button to open the Add Digital ID dialog box as shown in the last lesson, which you can use to create a new self-signed digital ID or select an existing third-party digital ID. After you have selected the digital ID to use within the Document Security Digital ID Selection dialog box, click the OK button to return to the Select Recipient screen within the Certificate Security Settings dialog box. In the Select Recipient screen, you should see your own digital ID listed. You should always have your digital ID listed so that you can open this document after it has been encrypted. You then need to add the other users to whom you want to send this document into the listing shown. To add recipients, you must have a copy of their digital certificate. They must have sent you a copy of the certificate or use a trusted third-party certificate authority. You can click the Search button to open the Search for Recipients dialog box, which you can use to search for certificates of the recipients. You can select the directories within which to search and can even search by name if needed. You can then select the names of the recipients from the search results list within the dialog box and then click the OK button to add them to the listing in the Select Recipient screen. You can also click the Browse button to the right of this list to open a Locate Certificate File dialog box which you can use to select a locally stored certificate file in order to add a recipient if needed. After adding the recipients, you can then change their specific permissions if desired by selecting their name within the recipient list and then clicking the Permissions button to the right to open a Permissions Settings dialog box. You can then set their content permissions if needed. When finished, click the OK button to apply them. After selecting the recipients, you can then click the Next button in the lower right corner of this dialog box to move to the Summary screen. You can review the settings of the certificate in the Policy Details section. Then click the Finish button in the lower right corner of this screen to finish. You will need to save the PDF once again in order to apply the certificate security to the PDF, just like you must when applying password protection. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.